Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Mob Psycho. This is on the bright side. I'm Daniel. I'm joined by Tiffany. I'm Tiffany. And where? <laughs> There's no time. There's the no laughing dimple matter. Show. We're watching the Dead Dimple Show, y'all. I don't even have anything fun to say. If you don't have anything fun to say, maybe cheer me up. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You get to see when the next episode of Mob Psycho comes out. Ah! <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Really, I have very few predictions about where this show is even going from here. We'll see. Congrats, you're old. You're about to go into high school, you old bitch. Damn, they're still in middle school. Yep. They're munchkins. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Those dudes in the body improvement club built like grown ass men are still in middle school? Yep. <laughs> Do I not have any real memories? None of you want to find a want to communicate with aliens. This is a dark day. <laughs> Y'all are in danger. Well, technically, it's the body improvement until you can't really do that. All right. I saw a dimple. Dimple is gone, dimple Tiffany. Funky. You're not seeing any dimple. Transmission one. Winter break. Are we gonna transmission? Alien transmission to transmission alien. Tra aliens. <laughs><笑><笑> I mean, yeah, true. Yeah. 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 Mm. Nothing like you guys. That's right. That's right, I said it. Uh, I mean, you know. Birds like, what? Uh, that's the noise uh, that I assume. Go beyond. Plus ultra. Wait, wrong show. Is is he? Telepath? It builds character. Yeah, it's definitely not because he got some sort of telepathic signal, right? Yeah, that's right, be gone. The music starts up again. Dude, literally mind your own business. Haha. <laughs> know it. <laughs> Every psychic in the town was probably like, ah! This kid looks like 30 years old. Uh, 
Justice. You just now oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Someone who understands. That's true. Uh, he knows. Don't even. Uh huh. Ian Sundari already. The sun's behavior. Make sure to stay hydrated, everyone. Yeah, friends. That's nice. I'm glad he has friends. <laughs> or, never mind, he's got plans. And then maybe he's looking forward to it a little bit. Oh, God. Dimple staring narrating. Ah! Um, you got me fucked up. Why'd you have to say that shit to me? <laughs> well, you know, it's his voice. Uh oh. You definitely overslept. Ah, you showed up. No, we're kicking you out. No, you funky. Well, guess who else overslept? Your ride. <laughs> the drama. <laughs> Again, lucky for you. He's gonna be all like, yeah, right, late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're late, yeah. Let's have a good time. <laughs> My god. Ugh, everyone's a dumbass. <laughs> he doesn't drive a lot. It's true! Mount mud boat. There's a, there's a UFO sign. Is that the fucking end of the episode? I didn't even know. Nothing happened. <laughs> Alright, that was an episode. Uh, not much. Not much happened that episode. I was right. We're going back into kind of slice of life things. Uh, but this was, like, perhaps one of the most chill episodes of Mob Psycho 100, period. Hey, we need chill after they murdered our son! I, I suppose you're right, but, like, we just really didn't get much accomplished, is, is mainly what I'm going I, And I'm fine with that, because I like all the characters in this show, and I, I, and I want them to be happy. But I was kind of excited to see if they were actually going to contact aliens or not, and we, I guess we're going to get to see that next episode, which means that... They're gonna contact something, probably. Who knows? Maybe they'll contact Dimple up in that broccoli in the sky. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is probably going to be a pretty short discussion because, like, I don't really know what to say about that episode. I guess, uh, this new character, what was his name? Tanikawa or something? Better you than me. I didn't even remember that. Uh, he showed up. It, it, it's another character that, like, Mob kind of has, like, that feeling of, like, uh, you know, psychic powers have never really helped me as a person. In fact, they might make my life worse. Good on him for being all, like, ah, reading other people's thoughts and communicating them doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. So I'm gonna stop. But he just, he just wanted to someone to relate to, and... I'm kind of hoping that him and Mob can become friends at that point. Who knows? He's if he's in a he's in a sports club, he might be 
semi-popular. He can get us in with the ladies. Mob harem part two. <laughs> Mob harem attempt number two. This time it'll work. <laughs> Preferably not with the monkey shirt. No, don't use the don't use the monkey shirt, Mob. Hey, the monkey shirt saved the world. It didn't save our son, so I consider it null and void. Well, our son saved the world. Our son, he's probably older than you and dead. You know what? It's fine. I adopted him. It doesn't matter if he's older than me if I already adopted him. He should have been faster in adopting me if he didn't want to be the son in a relationship. Oh. Uh. I don't know how to unpack that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a part of me that wants to see more of a... Hana... Ha Hana's up? Ha no. He'll get it eventually, y'all. The 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 other the other guy <laughs> that works for Reagan. I want to say Hanazawa, but that's the blonde-haired guy. You don't know. You don't know. You can't say anything. You don't know. We're gonna fight live on camera, y'all. Gonna fight. We're gonna fight about mob gonna psycho jump characters. Through the screen, my dude. Yeah, where where I'm gonna jump through the. <laughs> Good luck. I live seventy feet up, man. You'll get thrown out this window so fast. I live fifty feet up. That extra twenty gonna get you. <laughs> I got a question for you. Oh boy, it's a question. Since I can't really think of too many things to talk about in terms of this episode, uh, I want to ask, what's your favorite mob psycho character? I know you're bad at answering favorite questions, but... <laughs> Is this trap question meant purely to make me suffer on camera? Yes. I hate you. If you have, if you have an answer that's not mob or Reagan, then you're probably like different from 80% of the fan base. See, look, I don't have Mob and Reagan. I have Mob and Dimple. And now since Dimple's dead, I guess it's just Mob. <laughs> Poor Dimple. I, I would probably say that, like, even though it's the most generic answer, Mob is the best character. He's the most interesting. Yeah. Which is funny. Because, uh, Mob's just his nickname. I don't know if no- if- if everyone knows this. But, like, Mob, that nickname, comes from the idea of him being, like... Like, uh, the idea of a mob person in Japan is the idea of someone who's, like, barely stands out from a crowd. It's not very noticeable. Often depicted as, like, having, like, a, a, like bar barely defined features in anime. Despite that, he's the, the most interesting person. There seems to be something in Japan of like based on your first based on your like first impression or your or your appearance people will kind of like fit you into a category. You know, I I often hear people be like, "Uh, that person's so gloomy in anime." Yeah. Um when like in reality you've never actually talked to them. <laughs> so how would you know? I feel like Hori Mia kind of dealt with that like Miyamura was often seen as like the oh he's gloomy and then it's found out he he has tattoos and he wears piercings and he's super interesting. I find that generally people who tend to like not give off a super interesting appearance have pretty I have pretty interesting personalities. I guess the the final thing that we could talk about is what do you think do you think there are going to be aliens next episode? I feel like we're just going to be poking at the wrong ancient temple thing, and it ain't going to be aliens, it's going to be some random spirit being like, Hey yo! Why you at my house? It might be a spirit. As usual. I kind of hope that we do actually contact aliens, because we've contacted, like, so many things at this point. We've dealt with yokai, a bunch of spirits, other psychics, and it's like, aliens would be new. In the case that they are real. So I kind of am curious to see what they look like. I'm imagining Mob with antenna. That's basically what the other anime, the one with the the one with the red hair and the weird antenna. That dude. Oh, red hair. Pink, red. I don't care. She's talking about Psyche K. <laughs> he's pink. He's got pink hair. It's a plot point. And they aren't antenna, they're limiters. 
Got to show you that show. It's it's confirmed like pink in the series. He's all like, you might be wondering how I can go about my daily life with my hair being pink. Well, I have changed this world's cognition to think that multicolored hair is normal. And then it started popping up all over the place. And now everyone looks like an anime character. That is the canon explanation. Anyway, sorry I didn't have a lot to say about this episode. But I am looking forward to next episode. Who knows what's going to happen? I feel like I say that at the end of every episode, but truly, will there be aliens? If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, tell me what you liked about the video or the episode, and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to be notified of when the next Mob Psycho reaction goes up. I hope I can make your day better, and I hope that you continue to have good days. Until then, take it. Easy.